What's up, Traders Edge? It's Mark Sebastian. I am your only option, and this is your preview for the week ahead. Uh, I'm going to give you the what I'm looking at in the indexes, what I'm looking at at oil, and the five stocks I am watching. All right, let's get down to business. Um, you know, I alluded to this on Friday, but there's something building in SPX. The one year chart, obviously, we're sitting right off an all time high. The thing that's kind of freaky is that since we kind of topped out on the ninth, implied volatility is really rallying. VIX is really firm. Uh, we're seeing the potential for some serious, a serious event. And we're not just seeing it in SPX. It's in the queues. It's in the diamonds. And it's 100% in the Russell 2000. Vol is just screaming across the board in the, in the SPX. Uh, and, and when I say screaming, I don't mean it's 20, 30, 40, but relative to how they're actually performing, they are screaming. Um, now let's look at the five stocks I am watching. I want to start with Apple. Now, Apple is sitting at the edge of one of my zones. It is setting up for a zone trade, and I may be putting that on next week. All right. So there's Apple. It's at the low end. It's below its 200. I really want to see where this thing goes. All right. Next up, uh, we're watching Amazon. Jeff Bezos continues to sell this. It's managing to hold up, but um, you know it looks a little soft here. So we got Apple and Amazon. Uh, next, I'm looking at uh, energy. Exxon Mobil and oil as a whole looks like they're ready to pop. I am very much thinking that we could see a stronger move higher in oil and maybe an oil blast could be something that caused the market to have problems but i'm watching exxon mobile because i think it could go much higher i'm watching super microcomputer just an absolute ugly day for it for a day it dropped 200 points on friday the crazy thing is that only wiped out two days of gains. That is how squeezy this thing was. And implied volatility actually came off as this thing was falling. There may be more downside. This one is going to be very fun to trade. I'd be setting up downside. And then finally, NVIDIA. Uh, the volatility is screaming in NVIDIA ahead of earnings. Earnings are going to be the 21st after the market. Um, we could see some real fireworks. This is another one that could send the market south. If Nvidia market, if Nvidia earnings are not good, we could see the market tank. And I, and even if Nvidia earnings are good, even if they're great, the stock may still sell off. We need absolutely spectacular for this thing to hold its rally. It is so overbought. All right, now I want to look at two more things. You know, I talked about Exxon Mobil. Oil looks like it's breaking out. I'm looking for oil to potentially make a run at uh, U.S. soda to go to 75 and, uh, and oil to make a good move back to 80. Uh, and then gold, the shiny stuff just can't, can't seem to get off the map. Finally had a decent day on Friday. Um, Bitcoin, kind of the opposite. Um, after hitting a, a relatively high relatively new recent high. It's stalled here a little bit. So I'm interested to see whether it can make another leg higher. But uh, Bitcoin, for all intents and purposes, looks like it's, it's um, you know, found a spot to stall at. Uh, all right, now let's close with the VIX. I got to tell you guys, VIX looks like it is VIX looks like it is getting ready to get a bit of a pop. You know, the volatility X is 14 and a quarter. 
The VIX futures closed around 15. Uh, I think you could see uh, VIX futures are actually up. We're starting to see vol get a little bit of bid. We see it in the index index volatility. We see it in the VIX itself. There's something building. I don't know what it is, but there's something building. Uh, could it be Nvidia? Could it be oil? Could it be bonds? The bond market is at a spot where it it might break. A break lower in the bond market. This is the TLT. It's the long bond. But a big break lower in these long bonds, and maybe that's what does the market in. I'm not sure, but there is a violent event building in the S and P. Could be up, but typically this is down. But just be aware, something violent is building. So how do I play something like that? I think SPX strangles make a lot of sense. They're not expensive because of zero DTE. Uh, so there's a real good opportunity to play some of these names. Uh, you know, the February 26 straddle is only 60, called $66. We could move that much in a day. Uh, so I, I'm seeing that at the money options for SPX are too cheap. That's the way I'm approaching things. All right, everybody. Um, by the way, if you missed my presentation from Thursday, click the link above to check it out. And if you're watching me on YouTube, please like and subscribe and ask questions. I'm here to answer any questions you have. I'm looking forward to a great week. I hope you're enjoying your day off. Uh, I'm Mark Sebastian. I am your only option. Have a good one.